Hi, my name is JW and this is a small detour on my path to OSCP. As you can see, I'm not in my normal setup uh, where I record my vlogs. This is because this idea has been uh, roaming around in my head for the past couple of days and especially uh, today and yesterday people were asking me qu questions on IRC and I just felt that I was always missing this vlog entry or this blog entry also. And basically uh, the title is going to be how to ask questions and how to receive help or tips or whatever and anyone who's been on the Offsec IRC channel knows that there's a there is a common thing that tips are very frowned upon uh, and I can see that point if you are not in any way experienced or if you are in any way not aware of the full scope of the machine or the challenge it's easy for you to by accident give away too much and you don't want that everyone in the labs wants to succeed on their own to understand to be the best hacker of their room or whatever and contrary to normal advice I would give for for example asking help on IRC normally I would say be as specific as possible tell us what you're trying to do why you're trying to do it what you've tried what hasn't worked and do you have any ideas that's the normal thing I would say that uh, counts for a good question. For OSCP, whether it's for the labs or the course stuff, like the exercises, I would say be more vague, be more generic. For example, let's say that you probably know that there's a machine called Pain. I've mentioned that and it's also common knowledge that there's a machine called Pain there. So instead of telling me uh, or, or asking the channel or asking me in private or anyone in private, uh, hey, I'm on pain, uh, I did this to get low privilege shell, I've tried this and this and this, it doesn't work, do you have any tips on how to get privilege escalation? Don't do that. that, that that's really bad. Let's say that I don't have yet low privilege shell on pain, then you probably spoiled something for me by revealing that information. And also, even if you're really, really close by, it's really difficult for me to answer anything without basically giving away the entire machine. So don't do that. Don't be specific. Be like, hey, uh, I'm trying to exploit um, some Perl web server, or I'm trying to get low privilege. I'm trying to get privilege escalation on on a Windows box but I keep seeing this sort of error or hey my buffer overflow exploit doesn't work I keep seeing this sort of error do you have any good tips or what are your normal steps to do this sort of thing like generic what are your steps for buffer overflow what are your steps for uh, checking for Linux privilege escalation something like that give me generic questions and I can give you generic answers which hopefully can then point you that hey you've missed this step in your enumeration or something like that but don't come to me or anyone else asking for specific machines specific servers for help because I I can't I can't give that help and especially don't come asking for any tips on the exam especially don't like hey uh, my exam was I got these and these IPs did you get them don't don't basic OPSEC I'm going to assume that anyone who is chatting to me on IRC or or YouTube comments or whoever I'm assuming that you all are working for op, uh, for off offensive security. I assume that you are all covert agents trying to make me spill my beans uh, and 
screen capture basically me giving you some information that I shouldn't be giving you and thus losing any chance of getting the certificate. That's my assumption. That's my baseline assumption. You're just people online. Anyone can make up identities. So basic OPSEC, I can't trust you. If you're asking me really, really specific questions about something, I'm going to ass assume that, or rather, I'm going to give you the same sort of answers I would be able to give an undercover offensive security agent, an undercover offensive security uh, employee. Like, anything I say can and will be hold, held against me. And that's how I'm approaching it. Any tips I'm giving anyone, I could be giving to OFSEC and they couldn't incriminate me. That's that's the idea I'm going for. Because with this vlog series, uh, with my blog posts, and just being, uh, in general, a nice person trying to help people uh, on the IRC channel, I've been getting a lot of private messages asking for help, and a lot of them are not asking help in the most productive manner and I've had to turn them down and say that sorry can't help you uh, try harder I, I, I hate to say that that's the offsec uh, motto I, I hate to say that because it's very demotivating for me at least but if you come to me and ask me a generic question basically how do you do stuff instead of how do you do this specific thing then I can help you but I won't help you far. I won't hold your hand, but I will help you potentially think in the correct way. Help you potentially think that, hey, you could potentially do this sort of Google search or something like that. It's about learning and learning to think the right way. Thanks.